Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, uh, good Thursday morning, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We are here, uh, we are here in the middle of Belgrade at the Presidential Hotel, uh, the President Hotel, very nice place, love it here. A lot of gold. It's a little bit like living in Versailles. Hey, exactly. Versailles in, in uh, Belgrade. So if you're coming to Belgrade, not a bad place to stay. And funny enough, it was just announced last week by the president of Serbia that they've found a large vein of gold in southern Serbia. Oh, so it okay. makes sense that we would be here embracing gold. Gold, yes, in Serbia. exactly. Well, here we are. Maybe yeah. we'll, we can be all part of the uh, the new vein of the gold. gold. The gold, yeah. the vein. Yeah, so very all in vain of gold. Anyway, great, great place to stay here in this part of uh, this part of uh, Belgrade. And uh, yeah, we're here. I'm here with uh, with uh, Daryl Fidelic, who's our publisher of Serbia Monthly, and. Uh, and good to see you, Daryl. Yeah, to, always welcome. a pleasure, and always a pleasure to see you here in Belgrade. Welcome to the Coffee with Craig and show. Thank you very much. I believe this is my first. No, we we did something years ago, but it wasn't officially Coffee with Craig. So this is my this, this is my first Coffee with Craig. So we I, I, and we do have some new coffee, don't I we? I know because Craig and I have been working very hard on our Craig and Daryl, Daryl and Craig, one hundred percent gourmet coffee. Gourmet coffee. So a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of roasting the beans, and we have little uh, samples of it. So if you'd like mm. to try our coffee, let us know. We've got plenty of it, and we've just got a lot of new samples. We just got them all packed and labeled. So let us know, no matter where you're at in Central Eastern Europe, uh, we're happy to get you some some coffee, and of course, coffee with Craig cups as well. If you don't have one of those, I imagine everyone does by now. Um, so we had a lot going on, a lot happening yep. with our CEO awards here, yep. our Serbia Monthly CEO awards, and yep. the nomination uh, launch on May 11th. May 11th, we, uh -huh. we have uh, inviting all our clients and sponsors mm -hmm. and nominees out. We'll have a nice little gathering, and then we can uh, uh, look forward to the event on the gala, which is set for September 24th. September 21st. So that's the big gala, but we're come on out to the launch party. You'll meet everyone. You'll meet all the new sponsors and uh, get a little bit of an idea what the whole thing is about. Yeah. And also you'll be part of our book of lists that we're putting out as well. So it's a very exciting time. So May, put that in your calendars, May 11th. Save the dates, yeah. Save the dates. Um, and we promise good weather, right? We always promise good weather. Always here. Always good we and it's always good weather here. It's so always wonderful here. weather here. So um, anyway, we'll take a little break and we'll jump right over to Winston, uh, Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief, who will uh, tell us what the news is for the day. So Sounds enjoy uh, enjoy your Thursday and we'll be back with, uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning with the Friday news. See you tomorrow. Good Thursday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. My name's Winston Norman and here are the highlights from the website for today. And today we'll start with Savills and uh, they, they say that they do not expect investment activity to rebound until the second half of 2023. Um, the International Real Estate Advisor says uh, investors will focus on core picks and value add strategies, which include retrofitting, repurposing, focus on gaps of supply. Uh, they'll also focus on prime logistics in key trade hubs and countries with rising e-commerce penetration rates will remain at the top of investors' strategies. Um, rising interest to rates causing global pricing corrections are likely to trigger some distressed sales. Opportunist investors are likely to take advantage of assets with long-term value through active asset managing management and repositioning. And according to Stuart Gordon, Manager Director and Head of Investment at Savills, Czech Republic and Slovakia, uh, Central Eastern European markets are very unlikely to buck the trends of global price movements, uh, investment sector sentiment, or the rapid race towards sustainability. But open-end fund structures and long-term investors will find value later in the year once price adjustments have led to value benchmarking. 
uh, moving to Poland. And in the uh, retail investment sector, Focus Estate Fund has expanded its operations in Poland with the acquisition of Ferrero Legnica, a shopping centre in the city of Legnica in southwestern Poland from Austria's Raffaelsen Bank International. Uh, the retail centre has a leasable area of 13,200 square metres and an estimated footfall of around 2 million people a year. Key anchor tenants include Netto, Pepco, Kik, Sinsei, Yisk, Action and Rossman. And a comment on the acquisition, Maxim Shklonik, Focus Estate Fund partner, said, although it's now sustainably substantially pre-leased, we have identified a number of exciting customer-centric value-added opportunities that we want to pursue in line with our investment strategy. Uh, staying in the retail sector and moving to Hungary, and Primark, as first Hungarian store, will be opened in Nepi Rock Castle's Arena Mall shopping centre in Budapest, and it's part of the ongoing expansion of the global retail chain. Uh, the new Primark is set to open this autumn. Uh, the company has announced further openings in the CE region, and Slovakia will soon follow. New openings are expected in Bucharest, Łódź, and Wrocław. Primark entered Slovenia, Poland, Serbia, Romania, and the Czech Republic earlier. Moving back to uh, Poland and in the office industry, according to Office Occupier, Warsaw Office Market, a report published by uh, Newmark Polska, new office supply reached 237,000 square meters in 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Bringing Warsaw's total prime office stock to close to 6.27 million square, me uh, square meters at the end of the year. The gross office take up hit 860,000 square meters. And according to Newmark, in 2022, Occupy activity on the Warsaw office market returned to pre pandemic levels. Despite a slowdown in construction activity, lease renegotiations and renewals continue to account for a relatively high proportion of total take up while the vacancy rate decreased. At the end of 2022, Warsaw's development under construction amounted to 180,000 square metres, down by almost 50% year on year. The annual development pipeline scheduled for delivery in 2023 to 2024 will be below 100,000 square metres. Uh, this is the lowest volume in the Warsaw office market since the year 2000. And uh, finally for today, ECE is further developing the G3 shopping resort near Vienna. And it expanded the offer and tenant mix of the centre with its with its more than 130 stores with new retail, product testing and experience areas. The aim is to create a unique sport and outdoor focus on a 5,000 square metre indoor sports retail area and a 3,000 square metre outdoor sports area as an additional attraction for the centre. Uh, construction work is set to start in early February with the completion and opening scheduled for June this year. ECE Progressive Income Growth Fund, as its owner, is invested around 12 million euros in the further development of this centre. And those are the highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website for today. For more news, please join me again tomorrow. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show, and don't forget to share it with your friends.